Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony, Tony Olaoye. And if it's your first time stopping by, you are most definitely welcome. So today's video, obviously my eyebrows are already done. I have some lashes on. That's because I am going to be showing you guys and trying out the new Pro Filter concealers and the new Pro Filter instant retouch setting powder now that's a mouthful okay so you guys my PR package came I think yesterday but I believe the influencers in America already got theirs like way before us here in Canada and um, I did my best you know I made it a point to not watch any other person's review until I do mine so that way the reviews do not influence mine and you guys know Fenty Beauty is my favorite makeup brand in the entire world okay you guys already know that so today I'm going to try my best to not be biased and give you guys my 100% clean opinion and we're just going to try it out together okay okay so once I open up my PR box by Fenty Beauty you guys can see that I have the translucent setting powders in not made than coffee, a compact mirror, two makeup sponges, a couple of brushes, and this pamphlet that contains all the information you need to know about the retouch concealer, the soft matte foundation, and the new instant retouch setting powders as well. And I got four foundation shades and four concealer shades. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to go ahead and prime my face and I'm going to be taking the Pro Filter Instant Primer. I'm just going to go ahead and put some on the back of my palm like so and use this all over my face with the Fenty 110 foundation brush. Okay guys, is it just me? But even though Fenty Beauty is literally the most diverse brand, makeup brand out there that there is in my opinion, okay? And my opinion is right okay um it's amazing that they're actually adding 10 new shades to their soft matte foundation collection so i believe the concealers actually 50 shades while the foundation right now as of right now filming this video is 40 shades so i'm going to add 10 more so that it's going to be 50 concealer shades and 50 foundation shades like a shade for everybody literally Okay, so my face has been primed. Now what we're going to do is do a swatch of 400 here and a swatch of 420. I remember when they first launched, I used the Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 400, but it was a little bit too light. So um, obviously it's the winter time right now and I'm just going to see exactly how that's going to come off on camera. And I am just going to take my MAC foundation brush. And do a swatch right here I know this looks off and it looks very very bright and a little bit crazy but don't worry guys I feel like with this foundation once it dries and sets it actually becomes a little bit more like my skin tone they say it doesn't oxidize okay so mm. I just know that it dries a little bit darker than it shows on your face when you initially apply it so now let's move on to 420 this is the 420 shade right here and this is the 400 so just for comparison you guys can see this is 400 and this is 420 okay I'm going to take the side that's clean and just give myself a swatch right here So I'm just going to give this about two minutes to get dry on my skin so I can see the actual shade of the foundation. And while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and give my new Fenty Beauty sponges, you know, a soak. So I'm guessing this is a new one and this is called Lil Precision Makeup Sponge Duo. Two tiny little sponges. So I'm just going to go ahead and soak these three so that when I come back, it's easy for me to apply my foundation. Okay, so both foundations are dry right now. And I feel like neither of them is my perfect shade, but definitely I can work with 420. I feel like this is giving me more warm vibes, okay? And this is giving me more cool, neutral vibes. So I'm gonna go with 420. So do you guys see what I mean by when you apply it on your face, it looks a little bit lighter as opposed to this? You guys can tell the difference. This brush is literally perfect for applying foundation. Because it's so dense, you do not waste too much product and it just applies literally flawlessly on my skin. The Pro Filter Foundation is supposed to be very lightweight. It's supposed to give you medium to full coverage. Right now I'm having medium coverage because I can still see 
like my dark spots peeking through the foundation so i guess i can build that up if i want to okay guys so obviously like if you look at my chest my chest looks a little bit lighter than my face but um we're just gonna ignore that let's move on to the concealers so right here I have four different shades this is shade 370 so guys this is what shade 370 looks like and that's the swatch right there on my hand this is shade 380 so this is the second color right here on my palm like right here and this is shade 400 of the new pro filter instant retouch concealer so guys this is 400 right there it's a third swatch and this is 420 so this will be my foundation shade and concealer do you guys see right here this is shade 420 just so you guys have a rough idea of the concealer okay guys so the pro filter instant retouch concealer comes in 50 shades like i mentioned earlier before and it's supposed to cover dark circles blemishes and it's full coverage and it's supposed to be long wear sweat resistant and crease proof now i have creases underneath my eyes and most of the time when i do my concealer it actually creases like with almost all concealers that i know all concealers that i have so right now i am going to take the shade 370 this is 370 in beige and just use this to highlight my face obviously i'm going to put this where i would typically highlight which is underneath my that's bright which is underneath my eyes like so wow guys this is really really full coverage like i can see how full coverage this concealer is and i'm just going to go ahead and mix this a little bit with the shade 400 because this is just too light for me Okay guys, so me just putting this on my face already, I can feel like how, I don't want to say the concealer is thick, but you can definitely feel how full coverage the concealer is. It's not thick, um, and it's not like clogging my pores. You know what, sometimes when you put makeup on your face, it literally feels like your pores cannot breathe. I am not getting that effect to this concealer, but however, I do feel that it's full coverage because it's just so creamy. Consistency of the concealer is a little bit thick, and I guess that's what makes it full coverage. So I'm going to go ahead and take this tiny Fenty Beauty sponge and use this to start blending in my concealer, especially around my eyes. So that it gets into those tight corners. Let me apply this on my foundation. The concealer doesn't dry that fast, but I can already feel it getting thicker and a little bit harder to blend because it's already getting dry. Um, but regardless, though, with the damp beauty sponge, it's actually still blending in quite nicely wow well, guys okay so applying this on my eyes and on my face it actually blends in quite fabulously you guys so i had to turn on my ring lights because my video was looking a little bit too dark i don't know if you guys can see what i meant earlier on by my concealer creases like underneath my eyes and right here so even though this is supposed to be like a crease free concealer if your eyes naturally have creases in them i think judging by what i see right now it's gonna crease a little bit okay so now let's move on to the setting powders this is the instant retouch setting powder and comes in eight translucent shades so they sent me into different shades they sent me nutmeg and coffee honestly looking at these setting powders they look a little bit too dark for my skin tone um but when they launch tomorrow i'm going to go ahead to go to sephora and buy myself the banana shade because i feel like the banana shade is going to match my skin tone just a little bit more but for the sake of this video i am going to use both and show you guys exactly what they look like i'm just going to go ahead and contour my face real quick and i'm using the match sticks in espresso right now is take the Fenty Beauty 180 concealer brush and use this to just blend in my crease let me show you guys just once more so you see what I'm talking about can you see the concealer creasing 
right here in my eye crease that is exactly what i'm talking about even though the concealer is supposed to be crease free i'm gonna take the concealer brush and just blend this in i'm going to go ahead and open the first translucent setting powder and this is in the shade coffee so open it for you guys so you guys can see So the setting powder actually comes with a protective film, a protective cover right here. I'm just going to go ahead and place that aside. And I'm going to go ahead and peel off the second layer of protective film. I don't know if you guys can see, it's kind of transparent. I'm just shaking it a little bit so I can get some of this. Oh guys, this powder is dark. It's a little bit too dark for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this aside. I might not use this actually. Maybe to set my contour. But to set my under eye, I'm a little bit skeptical. So I'm going to go ahead and open the second shade. It's called Nutmeg. Same thing with the other one. It has the protective plastic cover. And I'm going to go ahead and take off the second layer of protective film. Right here. This is the second shade of the setting powder. And this is the shade Nutmeg. The powder itself looks a little bit too dark for me as well, but I have no other option. I'm going to go ahead and take my Fenty Beauty 170 setting brush and just dip this into the shade Nutmeg. Dust it off a little bit and literally apply this all over my face. I'm going to take just a little bit of this and apply this to my under eye. dark you guys can see like there's a patch right there okay let me try to dust this out so i'm going to take the rest of the powder and just apply this all over my face this is the setting powder in the shade nutmeg so what i'm going to do right now is to take nutmeg just a little bit of nutmeg and use this to define my contour, okay? Guys, honestly, I'm a little bit sad that I wasn't able to use the um, Instant Retouch Setting Powder underneath my eyes. Even though I was able to use it for my contour line, that's fine, but I honestly wanted to use it for underneath my eyes because I feel like that's how you can judge a setting powder. Um, but I'm gonna buy the banana shade tomorrow when it launches in Sephora And when I do my Morphe foundation review, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty setting powder Hey guys, so I am back again. It's been about seven hours since I last did my makeup. Um, I finished doing my makeup around 1 p.m. And right now it's a little bit past eight. So I'm here to give you guys my final verdict, okay? First things first, the foundation. I'm not really going to talk too much about it because I already have a video about the foundation already on my channel. Um, so now moving on to the concealer. I really really love this concealer. I do believe this concealer is full coverage. It's very very creamy It definitely covers your black spots and your blemishes like the I have like tiny um, What do you call it? I have tiny black acne scars like underneath my eyes Um, but if the concealer rather literally like covered everything. So yeah, I do believe this Concealer is full coverage. I believe it covers your dark spots and your blemishes um with the whole creasing thing, in my opinion, I do not think this concealer is 100% crease free. Um, that's because I do have natural eye creases. Um, this typically happens with all my concealers, by the way. Um, so yeah, if you have creases underneath your eyes, please expect the concealer to crease just in those areas alone. It does not crease anywhere else apart from those fine lines underneath my eyes. Also, these tiny little beauty sponges, these makeup sponges, the tiny ones are perfect for going into your eye like so. Like those tiny delicate areas on your eyes, these tiny ones are perfect for that. This, to be honest, I don't really think is necessary 
maybe I'm using it wrong, but I feel like the regular beauty sponge or the regular makeup sponge by Fenty literally does the exact same thing with this one, with the smaller one. So yeah, these two are my favorite makeup sponges by Fenty. So yeah, all in all, this is a very, very lovely collection. You guys know I am pro Fenty Beauty. However, though, this concealer, I'm going to give it an 8 or 8.5 out of 10. The reason I'm not giving this concealer a 10 out of 10 is because it is not crease proof. Even though, yeah, the concealer does cover your dark circles, your blemishes, you know, it's full coverage, definitely for sure. And it's also long wear and sweat resistant as well. All those things are check, 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 check. Those things are all a yes, apart from it being 100% crease proof. So for that, I'll give the concealer an 8.5 out of 10. So moving on to the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powders. My heart was broken that I wasn't able to apply this underneath my eyes. Because like I told you guys earlier on, this has been able to set my whole face. My laugh lines aren't showing as much. And I have, mind you, I haven't retouched my face. The only thing I retouched was my lip gloss after I ate. And I used it underneath my contour line. And you see, when I like took a picture, like there was no flashback. And I'm going to show you guys right now. I don't know if you guys can see what's there's literally like you no know, flashback underneath my contour line with a setting powder. So and I use it all over my face as well, and there's literally no flashback on my face apart from underneath my eyes. And for that, I'll give this setting powder a good 9.5 out of 10. So yeah, that is pretty much it for my Fenty Beauty review slash first impressions i hope you guys all enjoyed it make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below if you subscribe to my channel check me out on snapchat twitter and instagram you know the whole should bank i really really appreciate it and until next time guys peace and love